How to identify natural diamond using simple methods. When people first find a crystal that looks like a diamond, the big question is always the same. Is it real or not? In this guide, I'll show you the simplest and most reliable methods used by experts to identify natural diamonds using tools that almost anyone can find at home. These techniques are based on real scientific principles and are trusted by gemologists across the United States, Canada, Europe, and Germany. Let's begin with the scratch test principle, without damaging anything. Real diamonds are made of pure carbon arranged in a crystal structure that gives them the highest hardness of any natural mineral on Earth. This is why diamonds rank 10 on the Mohs scale. You should never scratch glass aggressively, but here's the truth. A natural diamond can easily mark glass, quartz, and most rocks. If your stone doesn't leave any mark at all, it is almost certainly not a diamond. However, keep in mind that some synthetic materials can also scratch glass, so this test alone is not enough. Next, let's talk about the fog test, a simple technique that uses your breath. Hold the stone close to your mouth and gently breathe on it. A real diamond disperses heat instantly. The mist disappears almost immediately. If the fog stays on the surface for more than a couple of seconds, you are likely holding glass, cubic zirconia, or another imitation. This test works because diamonds are excellent thermal conductors. Now let's move to the light and sparkle test, one of the most reliable visual checks. A natural diamond reflects light in a very unique way. The inside of the stone shows gray and white flashes known as brilliance, and the outer surface reflects sharp rainbow-like colors, but not too strong. If your stone shows only rainbow colors everywhere, like a prism, it is more likely cubic zirconia or synthetic crystal. Natural diamonds always look sharp, bright, and full of contrast. Another key method is checking the stone's transparency. Place your crystal on a piece of paper with printed letters. If you can see the letters clearly through the stone, it is not a diamond. Real diamonds refract light so strongly that you cannot read through them. This is called the read-through test, and gem labs use it frequently. Now let's talk about inclusions, small internal marks inside the stone. Natural diamonds almost always have tiny imperfections, mineral spots, feathers, or grain lines. These imperfections are normal and scientifically important because they form under extreme pressure inside the earth. If a stone looks too perfect, crystal clear with no marks at all, it may be synthetic or lab grown. A cheap jeweler's loop or magnifying glass can help you spot these natural fingerprints. Finally, the conductivity test. Real diamonds conduct heat very efficiently, and this is what diamond testers detect. Most diamond testers can separate natural diamonds from modern imitations, making them one of the most accurate tools for home testing. They are affordable and widely used in the US, Canada, and Europe. By combining all these methods, scratch mark, fog test, stone transparency, sparkle behavior, natural inclusions, and thermal conductivity, you can identify natural diamonds with a very high degree of confidence. Remember, a real diamond has unmistakable physical behavior that no cheap imitation can fully copy. If your stone passes most of these tests, there is a strong chance that it may be a natural diamond, and you should take it to a professional gemologist for confirmation.